Another commentary done by Dig. The upper right corner, we have Zeke starting as the yellow Zerg. Bottom left in corner, we have Terror starting as the pink Terran. This is Fighting Spirit and Fighting Spirit Mania set two. Terror taking set one. And he is just so brutally strong in his TVZ. This time we do have cross spawn positions. And I, if I recall correctly, it's been a little while. At the previous cross spawn position engagement. Zeke ended up being the winner. Simply because Terror, very, very aggressive in his early gameplay. Has a lot of off-tempo stuff that he can throw out. Has a lot of aggression. And you just saw some of that relentless aggression in set one. Which is what I believe led him to the overall victory. I'm trying to remember, did he take set one? I think he did take set one. Play Depot on the front to go for a front door seal. At the cross map position, Ziki might get a bit of relief because it just takes a longer period of time to move those medic marines, and you have to go through. I'm gonna do a map reveal. Which I feel like I, I shouldn't be doing a map reveal on Fighting Spirit Mania just because it's like so well known, but this center area, you can see where this is just an absolute death pit for medic marines. Because Mutals can just hide over that wall, dive in, dive out. Makes it very, very challenging, That's but that's the uh, area that will need to be traversed should Terror want to apply pressure to Ziki. Ziki opening up with a 12 hatch. Overlord Scout going to the bottom right-hand corner first. I assume that is going to be our scouting drone. Now, he's not going to know map position. It's kind of the other follow-up thing for Terran. He's not going to know map position unless he scouts this Overlord with this SCV. But also at cross map position, I'm wondering if he would want to try to sneak something like his mech builds. So making his way bottom right, it is going to be a cross spawn scout for Zeke. So he is going to be able to potentially, well, maybe, you know, he's just checking the middle of the map. Overlord has been scouted. So now Terra knows that his opponent is in the upper right hand corner. So making a beeline that direction. However, that also gives signal to Zeke that his opponent is bottom left. However, he is not going to be able to, get, uh, to sneak in with that drone. Might be able to do a bit of harassment on that SCV, however, over the wall before this Marine is initially produced. There's that first Marine. SCV making its way to the north. Drone still trying to get some distance. Get some of that SCV hit. Is he gonna, he's going to take that little bit of damage before fleeing out. SCV sees the spawning pool, sees the gas timing. And Zeke actually, did he pull one off gas? Yeah, I think he pulled one off gas. Pulled a drone off gas to go ahead and harass that SCV. I don't know that that's entirely worth it. We do have a gas grab opposite corner. Four terror after his command center. Barracks remaining silent. I think this is to get that fast engineering bay down. There's the engineering bay. And get that earlier plus one weapons. We have lair being produced. Pretty quick lair. SCV taking just a sliver of damage. We do have a good amount of lings out in the field. One advantage for Terror at these positions is it's going to be a lot easier to pull the engineering bay first build off because what oftentimes you could be vulnerable because you are delaying marine production early on against a flood of zerglings. However, at cross map position, it takes a long time for large amounts of zerglings to make their way down. On top of that, Terra's got the SCV that I believe is keeping an eye on the eggs as they're spawning to know whether there'd be a flood out. So he can basically hold this front with fewer marines than... Basically, we'll be able to spot that incoming attack a little bit earlier. Plus one weapon's now on the way. Academy is going to be up range. Going to be starting up shortly, but this is, yeah, just two marines on the front. Spire on the way. What I have seen Terra do in a third hatch in the base, and I'm I'm wondering if Ziki almost going to... So SCV getting taken out by that drone. Nice worker kill. This is going to be really light. Very, very light on the early marine production. It looks like we do have three barracks, one being, blo one being blocked by friendly SCVs. Previously, when I've seen Terra pull this off, it's actually been impressive how many Marines have been produced at that 6.30 mark when typical Mutalisks are able to get in here. 
Bit of a supply block currently for Zeki. Drawing his Zerglings back. And yeah, so I don't know if this is intentional along a build order or not, or if there's a cancellation or some sort of mistake in the build order, but that is not going to help. Comsat dropping for Terror. Just to go ahead and see the Spire finish timing. And I think he's going to be... Is he going to... I think he just barely is going to miss that Spire finishing, but at the very least, he knows there hasn't been a switch to opposite tech. Two, three medics going to be produced, so it's going to be very, very light on the marine count. Two overlords have been produced. Now we see the mutalisks on three hatcheries being produced, but I'm wondering if because of that supply cap, there are just fewer larva. Kind of a rush to get larva and get those drones in between in this build order. So a hatchery now being grabbed at the upper left-hand corner. That will be the fourth hatchery. But with everything playing out, Terra opening up that front door has that full grouping of medic marines. Decent turret placement. Mutalus trying to make their way across. And this is going to be the critical moments, I feel like, right here. Where Terra wanting to go ahead and get some map presence, move these medic marines out in the field. He will have plus one weapon sooner rather than later. But he's got that, this middle area to traverse. Mutalus looking to group up, pick off any stragglers. Needs to be careful with the overstimming. An SCV coming alongside. Interesting. I think that might just be a misrallied SCV, but that's got to be a little bit confusing for Zeki as well. It's like, what's that SCV doing out there? Is he going to try to plat a bunker? In position. Marine stranded away from the medics. SCV's been picked off by those Zerglings on that corner, so he has Zeki a little bit concerned, but just a tap on one of the damaged mutalisks and terror able to take out dropping the count down to seven scooting around the corner more mutals joining the fray we do have plus one weapons on the way so ziki wanting to get a little bit more aggressive with these mutalisks overall overall four barracks sitting back another grouping of marines making their way out and now they're traversing that very dangerous territory two picked off but another Mutalisks losing its life for the effort. Regrouping. Taking a bit of damage. Mutalisks, you can see, looking for that secondary grouping. That, But they managed to somehow sneak past that ball. And it looks like they're going to be able to hide. Ziki looking for the opportunity to go ahead and engage. Over the wall. One Mutalisk getting trapped. Zerglings now pouncing in. And Terror are going to end up losing this Medic Marine Ball in that Valley of Death in the middle of the map, but five Marines have managed to sneak out. A Hydralis morphing to Lurker in the corner. I don't think these Marines are gonna be able to get a lot accomplished though. Maybe get a Hydralis or two. Zerglings peeling up. But yeah, they're not long for life. The rest of the mules just pushing up, pouncing on them. Zeki now with map control. Another grouping of Medic Marines out on the front for Terror. Does have the Starports planting down as well as that Science Facility. Moving that factory out to go ahead and get scouting information. But this is three hatches running. Queen's Nest down. Zeki making his way towards Hive Tech. Third gas is up and just now starting to mine. And a group of 10 Mutalisks making their way back towards the main. Going to find the factory. But a single Zergling going to spot these Medic Marines now pressing towards the front. There's a Sunken Colony there, a single Lurker, and a second Creep Colony not in position. So these Mulesks do need to get back in position and on the job. Plus one weapons is there. Range is there. Stim online as well. The Mulesks are regrouping, not finding them on the bridge, taking just a tap of damage. And Zeke done a has done a great job of just being outside of the marine damage range as those stims have landed. Terra cycling to the south. Maybe overlord hunting. Certainly zergling hunting and managed to catch that one. The mutalisks. Now pushing into the natural expansion. Looks like they're going to be able to go ahead and get a turret. One of them losing their lives. Plus one weapons online now. Marine getting picked off. Comsat to just spot the Mutalisks over the wall. The Mutalisks going to go ahead and back out. Terra waiting for the science vessels and Irradiate to be in place. 
The mule is pushing in, able to pick off an SCV right there, and two marine, man, just relentless attack from Zeke, getting really good value for these mutalisks. Billy Terra didn't give him a lot of opportunity to get things done, but here he is diving into the main. Turret fire raining from the north. And that is going to drop the count to five. The Medic Marines, in the meantime, repositioning, going to make their way to the upper left-hand corner. Anitis Canal not yet finished. Just sunken colony there. And there are no... There, sorry, there's two lurkers on the ramp defending. The Mutalus is getting wiped out underneath. And let's see if Terra wants to push up. That is two lurkers in position. Yeah, thinking better of it. The Science Vessel count... Now going to be the big factor for Terror. Scourge along the corner just in case there was going to be a follow-up dropship, but it looks like Terror is opting to just continue with Science Vessel production. He's got six barracks glowing. Plus three weapons on the... Or sorry, plus two weapons on the way. Irradiating lurkers on the high ground, able to protect against the Scourge. However, Zeke has bought himself time to go ahead and get the Defiler Mound up. Consume. Incoming as well. Terra currently with a decent supply lead, as one would expect at this stage of the match. Repositioning towards the natural expansion. There's only a single... Sorry, there's three lurkers stacked. Eh, I fell for it too. Three lurkers stacked at the natural expansion. Some Scourge looking for an opportunity. So now it's going to be a protection whittle game. The Scourge getting wiped out. Irradiates being dropped on the Lurkers over the natural. Science Vessels dangerously peeking out. Scourge not on a flight path where they can go ahead and intersect. It looks like one Science Vessel has already taken a hit. More Science Vessels, or, sorry, Battle Cruiser is now being built by Terra to go ahead and whittle into Zeke's gas supply. He's not making any motions towards a third. Zeke, group of Zerglings, and actually bravely sending a drone down, kind of pocketing it in that corner. He's got split forces, though, underneath. Terra losing a science vessel there. Losing another science vessel. And attacking one of his own medics. So having trouble controlling his army a little bit here. Terra actually, or sorry, uh, Zeke doing the same, going ahead and attacking one of his own Zerglings. So I guess it's attack the troops in kind uh, moment. Drone wandering out a little bit too early. No Dark Swarm drop to clean out these medic, sorry, just Marines, to clean out these Marines. More science vessels joining the fray. The battle cruisers, however, are out, making their way towards that upper left hand corner. And Terror, actually, does he have a second engineering bay? There's a second engineering bay. Zeke's already got that plus one armor, making his way towards plus two armor. He's got the Ultralis Cavern down. His economy's really been strong here. And Terror has not really slowed any portion of it down. He has managed to delay this natural expansion being grabbed in the upper left-hand corner. Looks like he has some fire bats with this grouping to deal with Zerglings under Dark Swarm. One Scourge able to land, a Plague being dropped on the Battlecruiser, but that is certainly potentially going to take out that Hatchery before it is able to get dropped. Second Plague dropped on the Battlecruiser to go ahead and soften them up, and that's going to force a cancellation. More Scourge being picked off, a Battlecruiser still in the air. More Scourge making their way that direction, and Spore Colonies being dropped for protective measure here. Comsat potentially opening up the Lurker line. And dropships now joining. One of them wiped out before it's able to drop the entire load. So Zeke dealing with Battle Cruisers, Medic Marine Force, upper left hand corner. Firebats there as well to tr help negate some of the effect of that Dark Swarm. The Firebat has been wiped out. Lurkers repositioning. Battle Cruiser gone. And Terror looks like this is going to get cleaned up, and he did not get a lot for that drop. Simultaneously moving towards the main with a drop. So looking for two-pronged play here. A plague has been dropped on the Medic Marines that were towards the front, though. 
softening them up. And Ziki might be able to get... First of all, Ziki was in more of a defensive position as it was. Might end up even a stronger position where he might actually be able to start taking the map here. With this medic reinforced... being reinforced some lurkers there a lot of zerglings in place but no dark swarm to support so it's going to be just zerglings they do have plus two carapace and those medic marines have been plagued the first few ultra is taking the field they do have that speed upgrade and with that irradiate radiate actually providing support starting to move and ziki now on the map zerglings running around to create chaos Terra still hasn't moved out to take his third. And he needs to start thinking about that soon. Ultralisk's already in position at the 9 o'clock base. There's that command center floating out that direction. Zergling's camping at the 6 o'clock. Three Ultralisk grouping up with no defiler support. Eating a lot of damage. Do they have the car Yeah, they do have that carapace upgrade. They do not have plus one weapons yet. And behind this, he can going ahead and grabbing his fourth. Ultralisk just going to try to prevent that 9 o'clock base from landing. Single Marine sacrificing his life. I don't even know that he wants to drop an irradiate here. Yeah, just go ahead and move in. Sacrifice some units, but you see the swarm starting to move up. Lurkers along with this army now. Zerglings, Ultralisks. A formidable potential attack force and terror is going to be split between two fronts. He needs to defend that 9 o'clock and his main now. Lurkers planting. Ultralisks boxing out the Marines from being able to land on top of the Lurkers. Reinforcements coming back from the main, but those medics going to get completely cleaned up. And Zeke in a strong position now to dive into the natural expansion. Get some purchase there and potentially take game one of set two. Zerglings Rapid, you can see that adrenal upgrade just rapidly damaging that nine o'clock base. Marines need to get there in position. Some science vessels moving up, dropping some irradiates to try to clean up the lurkers towards that natural. But Zeke dealing with another battle cruiser in the upper left hand corner. Two more battle cruisers moving up. Skeleton crew at other locations. Defilers on the wings near that natural. And oftentimes they will say. You get Lurkers and Dark Swarm at the natural expansion. That is GG. There are a handful of Firebats here to help. Terra moving out with that army that was at the 9 o'clock location to try... Yeah, manages to take out the natural expansion in the upper left-hand corner to keep Zeke's economy from rolling out of control. Holding back the Lurkers with the Radiates at his natural. And simultaneously with the Battle Cruisers and Medic Marines maybe in a position... To push up and breach. Ziki cleaning up the Marines at the 3 o'clock location. Potentially wanting to go ahead and grab an expansion there. It's turning into a starvation match. Plague dropped. But between the Firebats and Leighton Marines there, it looks like that front door threat is going to be cleaned up. But more Zerglings making their way this direction. There are There's an Unultralisk and some Scourge on the field as well. The Battlecruiser is repositioning towards the natural expansion of Ziki. Supply counts are even at this stage. Another plague drop. Actually, sorry, no plague there. It's just uh, the red of the pink, the red and pink combo there. Scourge able to clean up one battle cruiser, able to get at least one shot, but some drones are falling at the natural expansion. Counterattack at the nine o'clock. Dark Swarm's there, but the Ultralisk is out of position, so eating marine damage. But more Ultralisks are here. More Dark Swarm being dropped that might force a lift up, but tit for tat as Terror able to wipe out production at the natural expansion of Zeke's main. However, Zeke grabbing that three o'clock base and the natural expansion while he's assailing the nine o'clock with Ultralisks. Terror not lifting up, not pulling out SCVs, losing several SCVs in this effort. Firebats are not a good counter. But at least they do damage under Dark Swarm. They're cleaned up. The Filer just kind of laughing to the side position. Finally, Swarm is done. 
Medic Marine Force able to take out one Ultra Let's see, it looks like they should be able to box out and take care of the second. Group Repair keeping that command center fresh and Radiate being dropped. Terror able to maintain his bases. However, he's mined out at his main. Natural Expansion is just about mined out, so he's going to be basically on one base to deal with Zeke, who's got bases popping up everywhere, grabbing bottom right as well. Really going to tax Terror's ability to defend and attack on multiple fronts. Only one Lurker on defense here. No Creep Colony yet. Ultralis sweeping in from behind with some Zerglings. Scourge looking to find some Science Vessels. Just miss it. However, with some positioning, it looks like the Ultralis are able to weave past the Medics, get right on top of those Marines, and clean them up. So Terra finding nothing at that natural expansion. And he needs to worry about the bases that are going up the 3 o'clock and bottom right location. Plus, Ziki stepping on the gas now, sending a group of Zerglings and that Ultralisk to that bottom left-hand corner. Ziki with the supply lead with a huge drone lead. Terra moving out. He has fire bats and Marines looking to engage at that 3 o'clock location. No defenses here as of yet. Might be able to take this hatchery out. Going for the drone line first. Wiping that out. That's going to be mincemeat. A plague dropped. As Ziki trying to pressure that 9 o'clock base, the Ultra's just on hold, finally waking up and engaging that hatchery gone at the 3 o'clock location. The hatchery is up bottom right, and it looks like he is mining out of that natural expansion. Keep in mind, Zerg bases tend to last a little bit longer because of the lower drone count, so Ziki's still mining at his main. Terror holding on to this 9 o'clock location might want to think about grabbing another base. Nidus Canal needs to go up at that bottom right if it's going to be defensible. I don't think Terra is aware of that base as of yet. Dark Swarm, a drone getting in the mix. Battle drone. Starting to push in. Level 5 Carapace now. Going up against level 3 weapons, level 2 armor. The Fire Bat's holding the line. A Battle Cruiser moving up. Is it going to be able to find anything under the Dark Swarm? But it is going to be some defensive presence. But forget about defense. Terra moving out. With another group of medic marines loses a science vessel, unfortunately. Does he have another science vessel in place? I do not see another science vessel here to support. So if lurkers, we do have a lurker in this back line. If more can come in place, that will be a defense of that natural expansion. Repositioning towards the main. Zerglings, Ultralisks weaving their way across. Some of the Zerglings not grouping up. Sweeping around, now going to group up around these medic marines and the zerglings able to get on top however it's just too much medic marine able to clear that attack force out bottom right hand base is up a nidus canal is there natural expansion being assailed by a battle cruiser in the upper left hand corner terror repositioning he's down to 39 scvs does have seven barracks mostly glowing but the supply count is even there are all sorts of hatcheries up for Ziki. Double evolution chamber as well. But here comes Terror moving into the upper right-hand corner. Just Zerglings and Sunken Colonies to defend. The Knight is getting wiped out, which is going to make that bottom right-hand corner base vulnerable as well. Also, it's repositioning. The Irradiate's going to help them here as they're moving in on top of those Medic Marines. That makes them glowing balls of death. Science Vessels getting wiped out as well. So Terra losing another attack force. But even as that's happening, it looks like a Marine able to find that bottom right-hand base. A slew of sunken colonies being dropped to try to defend it. Single Ultra is going to get wiped out from another Medic Marine force moving out. Terra still mining at that 9 o'clock. Ziki basically mined out at his main and his natural expansion, so he's going to be down to three base, but it's going to be three base versus one base. Ziki still with the supply lead, but keep in mind that's mostly in drones. And now, with several creep colonies being dropped bottom right, if Ziki can just hold on here, potentially he's just going to be able to starve out Terra in the long run. Terra still moving out on the map, though, has really been able to prevent Ziki from 
having his way with the map, just just with relentless attacks. Single Marine still able to guard that three o'clock location. Six kills. I'm wondering how many of those are drones that have that have just missed wandering out to potentially retake that location. Ziki now grabbing that eleven o'clock base. He's grouping up Zerglings and an Overlord here at the six o'clock. A drop at the natural in the upper left. Cleaned up pretty rapidly and Dark Swarm protects the drones there. So I don't think a single drone was lost there. Medic Marines repositioning to re-engage in the upper left-hand corner. There are lurkers, still that same lurker on defense. And I don't see any science vessels alongside. Ultralisks and Zerglings in the meantime, finding an empty natural expansion. Diving in and taking out supply depots. Ziki supply all of a sudden growing out of control. 143 versus 91. Zerglings grouping up to go ahead and engage the Medic Marine Force. There are some Ultralisks alongside. So the bottom right hand corner. Yeah. Terra going to call GG right there, realizing it's just too much. Game one goes to Ziki. And man, he's hard to beat at cross position. Terror pulling out all the stops was all over the map, and it really did not make a difference. Ziki still able to just sit back and mass. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.